The Megalodon was one of the biggest and scariest predators to ever live in the ocean and they can take out a whale with just one bite. The Megalodon has been extinct for over 2 million years. Or has it? In this video, we're going to check out some clips to see if people really have proof of the Megalodon. And guys, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a special offer about the blue plushie. <laughs> yeah, boy. And I'm also going to solve the mystery of the Megalodon. Now, I know that Megalodon became extinct around 100 million years ago, but have a look here. Okay. I know many questions may be popping up in your mind. Some might be thinking it's a giant whale, but I researched it and found out it's definitely not a whale because whales don't eat each other. Whoa. Bro, forgot about this guy. Yeah, these murder dolphins basically eat everything in the ocean. Oh yeah, and these giant blubber killers will attack killer whales. Anyway, this clip has circulated over the internet over the past five years, and people say that that's a megalodon eating that whale. But I'm not sure. To me, it looks like good edits. What do you think? So this one is very terrifying and was shot off the coast of Cape Town in South Africa. One day, a few friends decided to hire a boat. So they hired the boat and decided to go on a fishing trip. They recorded their experience on a waterproof camera. And at the beginning of their fishing trip, one of the girls says they're going to try and catch the biggest fish in the ocean. Be careful what you wish for. A little while later in the video, their boat's hit by something. At first, it's not clear what, as the camera drops down. You then hear everyone on the boat start screaming, and then the boat goes under the sea. So far, the people on this boat have never been found, but their camera footage has been seen by millions. The footage is kind of a mystery, however, the main theory is a megalodon caught up with their boat. It's kind of crazy how the megalodon only attack boats at night. Bruh. Haven't we learned to never go in the ocean at night? Correction, haven't we learned to never go in the ocean? All I'm saying is if you ever catch me in the ocean, I'm gonna be in a ship 10 times the size of the Titanic. A few years ago, a photo surfaced on the internet showing a beached whale. Okay. While seeing a beached whale is already strange and sad in itself, yeah. there is something that sets this event apart from the rest. Hmm. The whale's entire tail is missing, and it looks like it's been bitten off by something large. The most compelling thing about the photo is that you can clearly see bite marks around where the tail should have been. Now, this is a 70-foot humpback whale, one of the largest animals in the oceans. Who could have done such a thing? You might the only animal with the size and strength to possibly do this is, you guessed it, the mighty Megalodon. It's kind of crazy to think that a Megalodon could take out a whale with just one bite. I mean, the Megalodon was 60 feet long, and they had to eat a lot of food. But why would they eat, just eat the tail, though? Seems kind of fishy to me. The Megalodon just got an update and it seems like it may actually have been larger than we thought. Great, now we have gigantic Megalodons before GTA 6, bro. Anyway, he talks in his video about new scientific studies and research that came out with a Megalodon tooth that's now estimating the thing to be about 82 feet long. That's half the width of a football field. Okay. Baby Megalodon caught in harbor. Whoa. <laughs> If that's a baby megalodon, I'm Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean will It's a Baskin shark, man, but they can only get up to about 40 feet long, not 60 feet long. But they still look pretty freaky with that big mouth. This massive shark reaching up to 12 meters long is a breathtaking sight for any diver daring enough to encounter it. Though it's big and intimidating, fortunately the basking sharks are safe for humans to swim around. However, its enormous open jaws can still send shivers down your spine as one diver discovered firsthand. Well, who knows? Maybe the basking shark is a distant cousin of the legendary Megalodon. And maybe I'm Taylor Swift's sister. Shake it off! Shake it off! Where'd my hair go? I like it a lot. Basking sharks are not related to Megalodons. In fact, scientists now have studies to show that they don't even look like a great white shark. In fact, they look more like a giant lemon shark. So yeah, the movie's got it all wrong, bro. The Brazilian Coast Guard caught sight of the monstrous fish while attempting a sea rescue. At first, the Coast Guard officers didn't notice the giant silhouette swimming past them beneath the waves. But after re-watching the footage, they couldn't believe their eyes. If the size of the shadow is any indication, the animal was upwards of 60 feet long. Of course, it could have just been another large fish. Furthermore, the footage has been analyzed by many experts, and they found the footage to be completely unaltered. With this, the video has been tagged that's the best evidence for the continued existence of the Megalodon yet. It's really hard to see in the video if there was really a shark or fin or anything there at all or not. But if there was, it was probably just a Baskin shark, but really more like a whale shark, which is about 60 feet long. No, God, please, no. It was probably just a wave though, guys, because the Megalodon would actually swallow that person whole. 
If a megalodon swallowed you, its huge, sharp teeth would crush your bones easily. Why would the megalodon stop in the ocean and chew you like a cheetah? Bruh. The megalodon didn't have to chew you, it could swallow you whole with one bite. In fact, the baby megalodon is actually 13 feet long, which is the same size as an average adult great white shark. A photo recently went viral, showing an image from Google Maps that appears to depict an unusually large fish in the waters near the Bahamas. Course, Bahamas. The image shows a massive silhouette swimming just beneath Ooh. the surface, casting a shadow on the sea floor. Based on the size and shape of the creature, some observers immediately began speculating that it could be Megalodon, or at the very least, something much larger than any yep. shark we've seen to today. That. The image could be a glimpse of something far more prehistoric, and it is a picture of Megalodon. After all, this is the legendary giant shark that we've been obsessed with for years, and it's thought to have reached lengths of up to 60 feet, with some unconfirmed reports suggesting even larger specimens. This image has actually circulated over the internet for the last five years, showing that there was a megalodon shark there. Maybe, guys, I don't know, it could be an optical illusion. It might be a whale shark. I'm not really sure. So I looked it up on Google Earth, and I couldn't see anything there. Maybe I just need to adjust my goggles. What? Could the Megalodon actually be living in the Mariana Trench? Hey y'all, come look at this! Could your brain really be living in Uranus? Oh shoot! Somebody got a mop! Many people think that the Megalodon shark is hiding in the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part in the ocean at over 11,000 meters. But the Megalodon shark was a massive shark and needed to eat a lot of food a day. In fact, it needed to eat over 2,500 pounds of food a day. The Mariana Trench does not have enough food for a Megalodon shark. Maybe if we search Uranus, we find more intelligent life. So it's not exactly hard for a regular Joe to be scared by a video of a Megalodon. However, scientists are much more skeptical, and some downright say that Megalodon don't exist. Well, during one live stream, one of the cameras caught something very odd by an oil rig. As you can clearly see, a fin can be made out. However, this isn't just a fish's fin, or even a shark's fin. This is a massive fin. Scientifically, massive. no animal in that area could have a fin that large except for a Megalodon. And simply from the fin size, scientists extrapolated that this Megalodon would have been around 60 feet long. And if I was there and saw that shark, I would have had to extrapolate my Dr. Scuba pants. <laughs> Some people claim that that was just a whale fin, but whales don't have fins like that. Now, there are sharks that have fins like that and go that deep. The Pacific Island shark and the Greenland shark, but they don't get 60 feet long. What? Come on right at you. And then you caught this. Right. Yeah, I, I saw some shark go by that, that didn't quite fit in. What'd you make of this thing? Take a closer look at that pectoral okay. thing. Okay. Right. On the back edge, right near the body, you see that point? Which means that the shark in Australia is not an adult gray white, it's a baby megalodon. Of course it's Australia, bro. Finally, we have clear footage of a megalodon shark instead of Super Mario Brothers on a flip phone. But hey, if that was a baby megalodon, it wouldn't look like that. It'd be a lot longer and probably move a lot slower. Probably eat the other shark. I think bro's excited. Imagine being in an ocean and picking up that tooth and turn around and there's a baby megalodon like, Hey, that's a tooth I left for the tooth fairy. Many people in the comment section of that video keep claiming that that tooth is fake. It's not. Megalodon tooth are real. And even though they've been extinct for over 2 million years, or have they, their tooth are all over the ocean floor. Hey, maybe that's where my teeth went. Alright, so what most people don't know about Florida is if they dig deep enough pretty much anywhere in the state, there's giant megalodon teeth lying around. Someone walked past right here, and look what we have there. Whoa! Point Break just found a megalodon tooth lying on the ground. Of course it's Florida, bro. If you dig deep enough in Florida, you might find anything. Probably even the brain of a surfer. What? The United States just rediscovered the megalodon. And your grandma just discovered that she could send images through a text message. <laughs> <laughs> they talk in this video about a megalodon attacking a ship off the coast of the US. But fake AI Joe Biden from Wish Right There is wrong. It's just a fake story to get views. Ever wondered why no public aquarium has a great white shark? Nope, but I've often wondered why Twitter users can move around without a brain. Got it! <laughs> that clip right there is what I would imagine in my head, my childhood thoughts when I was about to jump into a swimming pool. <laughs> anyway, a great white shark is too massive to live in a swimming pool. In fact, one was captured and only lived three days in captivity due to it not eating. The shark chose death over freedom, guys. There's an aquarium for great white sharks and it's called the Ocean Bro. Yeah, it was at this moment he knew. He would have to change his scuba pants. That's the closest I've ever been 
to a shark in the water. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how my surfer career ended before it ever even started. If you ever see such a boat-like thing in the sea, then immediately run away from there. If you're stupid enough to climb in that boat in the sea, then the whale's doing us all a favor. <laughs> it's a whale feeding. They keep their mouths open like that and gather fish. But technically, they can't swallow you. They would just spit you back out like you spit out your school's food. Fuck to it! Seu Tarzan, olha lá. Enemy spotted. Pegou, o jacaré pegou ele. Nossa, pegou o braço dele. Perigo. Bro is just filming it. He's not even helping him. That alligator showed more empathy for that dude in the water than a friend did holding the camera. Guys, it's okay. It was a remote control alligator head. They just use it for pranks. Don't get me YouTube. Hey Heidi. Hey Heidi, get in the boat. Are you being serious? Yep. What does he mean get in the boat? What does that mean? Watch this in front and underneath her. Okay. Oh! Oh! I see it too. It comes up right to her feet and thankfully turns away. The second scariest thing you can ever hear when you're swimming in the water is getting the boat. The first scariest thing you can ever hear is, You ready to go swimming? <laughs> Holy Megalodon, that thing is massive. Hey, whoever was under that wave just got a bath. Luckily this is faker than Instagram influencers filters, but we still watch it, don't we? Sea monster caught on camera. I didn't see a monster, get it? It was a group of manatees, guys, and if you're in the water and you startle them, they freak out like a bunch of swifties. Oh my god, it's Taylor! You are never alone in the ocean. Well, no duh. As soon as you put your foot in the ocean, you're in the territory of whatever's in there, and what is that? I see something. Oh, no, no, no. What is that? I thought it was a seal. Killer whales. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that is close. Uh-uh, 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 not happening. Nope, no, uh-uh, no, no, no. This whale's protecting the diver from- Ooh, look at that shark! From a deadly shark. That's a white tip shark, and those things are highly aggressive towards humans. Ooh. Like, they will get you. Look at that sperm whale, man. That's pretty cool, protecting the, the scuba diver. You know what would really protect the scuba diver? Getting in the boat. That's what I would be doing. Why are you running? His buddy is helping him out. Look, two sperm whales are about to tear that thing up. Get him! If you don't maintain full awareness, no advice will help you. You know what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Sharks are sensitive to eye contact. Uh, have you? What? No. It encourages them to turn away. Eye contact? What are you doing? Lady. Uh-uh. That's a tiger shark. The only eye contact I'm giving a shark is through the aquarium glass. What? Strange creature found in Gulf of Mexico. Could it be Megalodon? Well, it's not a megalodon. Hey, it looks like my long lost hair. Wow, so this camera's about 1,400 feet down in the Gulf of Mexico, guys. I mean, it's a freaky looking jellyfish, not a megalodon. But I'm more freaked out of how dark that water is even with a light on off the camera. Huh? Because you thought sharks were the real monsters of the sea. That's because you don't know dolphins. Let me break down the ocean for you guys, okay? Sharks look like demons, but are actually angels. Dolphins look like angels, but are actually demons. Beluga whales are actually angels, and they look like angels. Killer whales look like demons, and they are demons. I'm going to be honest, though. If you ever catch me in the ocean, but you're not. But if you do, I'm going to have me a killer whale but for one of my bodyguards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dolphins are so crazy that they actually play with puffer fish, and they suck the poison out of them so they can get all hallucinogenic and stuff. What is that? Is that puffer fish? Yeah. This guy literally just got jumped by a group of puffer fish. That was a sticky situation. Get it? Because they have spikes. I'm s Watching an orca feeding and then... Oh no, don't tell me a... <gasps> fin whale coming in hot. Look at that thing came out of nowhere. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. That thing was as long as a pencil. Look at that thing, man. 
Yeah, you probably forgot that fin whales actually exist, huh? And some of them things get to be 60 feet long, which is the same size as a megalodon. I'm not even scared of the whales. It's just the fact that you're in the ocean and it's that dark and something that big can just come creeping up on you without you ever even knowing it. Hey, hey buddy, watch out. Oh, who's it? <gasps> Go that way. Ooh. Just keep Ooh. going backwards. Just keep backing up. Whoa, Back get on Because a giant up. moray eel right in front of you. Do you see him? Back it up, Terry. Try it. Put it reverse, Terry. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that boy, he Both of those ladies stay more calm than I would have. Murray eels are not aggressive towards humans, but they have a very painful bite. <laughs> I don't care how aggressive they are. It won't even matter. If a piece of seaweed touches my foot in the ocean, I'm gone. Are horseshoe crabs dangerous? We're about to find out. Let's find out. No, not really. My guy's literally out here tickling a horseshoe crab like it's a baby. Come on, man. He's casually being hugged by a 400 million year old creature. And no, it's not me. Fun fact, did you know the horseshoe crab's blood is actually blue? What? <gasps> oh, please, I'll eat you! What? I do not know what you Bro just got slapped by a clownfish. New Pixar movie, Fighting Nemo. Hey, that fish saw Nemo touch the boat, and he went and said, I'm gonna touch the butt too. You touched the butt. I'm literally stuck on him. It is it? Ooh. Stuck on him. Hey, you can't park there. Why are people in a Tupperware in the ocean and rivers, man? It's like you show up all wrapped up for dinner. Yeah, that thing's like, I'm about to bring home dinner, kids. <laughs> Nice. Whoa! That thing looks like a Dunkleosteus. You know what that is, the ancient fish? That shark has better teeth than me. That's crazy. That zebra shark's like, hey, take your selfie. I'm gonna head on back out, fam. Why does my toxic traits think that I can just go out and grab a shark and start pellet their belly like this? Guys, look! I did it! Whoa. Was that a shark? Yeah, this is why I don't go in the ocean at night. What am I talking about? I don't go in the ocean at all. I don't even see anything. Wait, where did it go? Where? <gasps> Ooh, that's, why, he almost got hit in the face with a tail. Why he's not swimming up to the top? <gasps> hey guys, all the footage in this video was either done through Discovery Channel or Animal Planet or to promote Shark Week. It was all fake and all of them were paid actors and some of them just were really good at it. So the Megalodon has been extinct for over two million years. I didn't want to leave you guys thinking that I was just going to be one of those fake scientists. So guys, the Megalodon has been extinct, but what about the blue? I just ordered this blue plushie for you guys and I'm excited to show you. Look how cool it, man. Look how cool it looks. It's so cool. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is the first 10 people in this video to comment blue, I'm gonna give you the chance to get 10% off. And then when I go to order these and you make your orders, if you don't get it, then I'm gonna have to move on to the next person. So make sure you comment blue in this video. And guys, make sure you also check this out because I think you might like it. You ready to go swim? 